Hi everyone, it's Arielle from Sphinx Financial Planning. Today I am going to show you how to create a blog post campaign in MailChimp. If you're watching this on a mobile device, please turn your phone sideways so the image is optimized. Before we can send a campaign, we're going to have to create a list because in order to send a campaign, you have to have someone to send it to. So go ahead and hit the lists tab on the top of your screen and then hit create list and create list once more. Enter the list name, the default from email address, the default name, a short reminder about how the recipient joined your list, skip the form settings, and add your notification preference, either a daily summary of subscribe and unsubscribe activity or one by one notification. Once you're done, hit save, and you have created a brand new list. Next, we'll go to the Campaigns tab, hit Create Campaign, Email, Triggered, and Share Blog Post Updates. You can change the campaign name and select the list you just created. Hit Begin, and enter your RSS feed URL. If you don't know what the URL is, it's most likely your website slash feed. You can pick when you want the content to go out, every day, every week, every month, the time, and which days. And definitely double check that you've checked off this box to resize the RSS feed images to fit within the template. Once you're finished, hit next. And you can pick who you want to send the post to, whether you want to send it to your entire list, a specific segment, or a specific group. We'll cover that perhaps in a later post. For now, just leave it as entire list. Hit next, and you can update the campaign name again here. You can change the email subject, add preview text, change the from name, or change the from email address. Unless you're a marketing wizard, skip the tracking and social media sections, and check off the auto convert video box. Hit next, and hit save templates. Pick the template that you created, from the previous video, and then scroll down. I'm actually going to update this because I realized after I posted the previous video, this is a social share link, not a social follow link. Even close. As we discussed in our previous video, there are two com column sections. We have the body of the email, the upper column, and the lower column. First, I'm going to drag this little arrow to reduce the amount of space around that upper column section. That way there's no gap once the email is rendered. The next thing you want to do is drag a text box into the body of the email. I'm going to post a link in the description of the merge tags settings for MailChimp. You can customize yours to be a little different than mine, but I suggest putting the title, date, and the content or a snippet of the content of the post, and then somewhere within the lower section of the email, putting links to your most recent few posts, whether that be three, five, et cetera. The merge tag information to do that looks like this. And then save and close, and I'm going to drag my signature line up into the body and put a blank divider between the body or the message and my signature. Right here below this divider, the color divider, I'm going to drag another text box and I'm going to add another RSS merge tag to show those most recent five posts. Hit save and close. And then let's preview it. So up on the very top, hit preview and test enter preview mode and enter or enable the live merge tag information. Once you scroll down, you'll see the title of the blog post, the date of post, some content from that post, and a link to continue reading on your blog. If you scroll down even further below the signature, you'll see the list or the links rather to the most recent five blog posts, including the one that's in the content of this email. So let's go back and try something a little bit different. 
If you wanted to, as we discussed in the previous video, put links to recent posts within this section, you can do that as well. Let's update this text, save and close, and change the title of these little images here. Once you've done that, you can click on the link, or click on the image rather, and add a link to the post. And hit insert. To double check that this worked, you can right click on the image and hit open in new tab. And the post should load. Great. Once you're finished editing the body of this campaign email, hit save and close and then hit next. Unless you're sending this campaign to an existing list with subscribers already on it, you'll get this error message. The easiest way to resolve this is to add yourself as a contact. Once you've resolved that on the bottom right, there should be a button that allows you to start the campaign. And you're all set. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.